just want to share some brief remarks and then and then we'll be on the panel. Um, so I am the mother of three children. Um, Chloe, my oldest, is a 2012 graduate of Gunn High School. She's in her final year of college. I'm really grateful that she's been able to make it through. Um, Isabel is my youngest daughter. She's currently a senior at Gunn High School. And, um, and then I'm the mother of John Paul. Everybody called him JP. And he was a junior at Gunn High School when he died by suicide in 2009. Um, he was the first of the children in that period who died at the Caltrain tracks. Um, as many of you are no, no doubt aware, uh, we've lost too many children in our communities. And um, I, um, myself and I know others have been wondering um, why, why are our children dying? And I just want to speak a little bit about our experience with regards to my loss of JP. And um, I'm not speaking on behalf of any other parent because every situation is different. But I wanted to share with you the reflections that I have had these six years since I've lost my son. Um, I wanted to tell you that we were very shocked and very surprised um, because JP was, he was loved. He was loved by his family. He was loved by his friends. He was smart, smart and popular and on the tennis team. He wasn't um, anybody that anybody expected we would lose like this. And so again, I've spent years searching and searching for information, trying to figure out what happened to my boy. And I gradually found out things, but really I just want to say that there's so much that I'll never know because the information was lost with him. But I've come to believe after all these years that what was going on is that he was suffering from an undiagnosed and untreated mental health condition we didn't know about and we were therefore unable to help him and that he was dealing with some stress that compounded the situation and ultimately led to his death. I also have come to find out that there were signs and, and I believe that he could have been saved but we didn't know any better and the people to whom he sent his signals didn't understand what was going on, didn't understand what he was telling them. And, and I could be very um, judgmental about that, but I've also come to realize that they, like us, just didn't know any better. And so that's part of my motivation is to come out here and share our sad stories so that you'll know better. And when you see things going on with your child or with your child's friends, you'll be better equipped to help them. Um, 